what started as a battle for life in a frontier town has grown, grown into a struggle between good and evil. This engulfed the lives of lowly travelers, hardened criminals, simple victims, and families. It has slowly become something more twisted, which can only be described as pure evil to our mortal minds. We find another year has passed in the domain of digger pain, a year of total chaos and insanity. All hope is dead. Once a booming frontier town, it's now a den of evil and death. With the secret of this hellish town intact, there seems to be nothing that is capable to end his reign of terror and unimaginable horror. Which leads us to the question, with Digger Payne's unstoppable powers and any guiding light of hope extinguished, what happens when evil is only left to find evil? Where are you? I know you're here. Who are you talking to? There's no one here. Look, you've been going on about this Undertaker for a year now. I've come with you because we've been friends a long time. But if this is a true story, why didn't you just go to the law? I could have been loose. Can't. I'm a one man. Still don't get it, do you? All right, I remember. Army of the Undead! Oh, so scary. Ah! <coughs> you haven't seen what I have, Vance. You're here as insurance. People know you. They come looking for you if we fail. But then to expose the insanity of this town, Stop the census bloodshed. This being he can kill you by raising his hand and sending your soul to the bowels of an unspeakable nightmare. You don't know what you're talking about. No human is that powerful. You have no idea how right you are, sir. Ah, Clay Murphy. We have missed you here. Your old friend. Jeff, did not quite work out quite as well as I'd hoped. You could say I had to fire him. But please, gentlemen, do not let me interrupt you. Do continue your story. I do so love hearing about my fine works. Fine works? You call the slaughter of an entire town and countless murders for your amusement fine works? No! I call it home. This time I'm here to avenge the deaths of those innocent people and to stop you forever, no matter what the cost, even if it means my soul. <laughs> Do you really think that the two of you can stop me? My Mr. Murphy. I have haunted your nightmares for an entire year. I have fueled the hatred that you feel now. But believe me, you do not have what it takes to mask the fear that I sense in you at this very moment. home, my child. I 
God, Jacob. You truly think that I would ever let one of my own creations leave me without my knowing exactly where he was and what he was doing? I have seen your plans through the eyes of my dear Marshall, and I have a surprise for you as well. Yes. 
thing. Back it off. Ha, ha, ha.